All right, we got breaking news here on Get Up. Running back Leonard Fournette uh, re-signing with the Buccaneers. Here's a tweet from our Adam Schefter. Leonard Fournette spent Monday visiting with the New England Patriots, re-signing with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers on a three-year deal per sources. So this is, again, this Brady goes back and everybody everybody follows, yeah, right? Yeah, he's free agent visits, right? He's yeah. with the Panthers, the Patriots, but he decided to get the band back together. And the, and the tone out of Tampa since Brady's been back has been, we are focused on getting all of our guys back, all those free agents. They just want to exact, do what we have been saying, which is run it back. And, and that's really what they're focused on. So this actually makes sense. And I'm, I'm sure Leonard Fournette, and, and we don't know this right now, possibly had better offers out there. But we both know mm, seven the million draw a year. of Tom he, Brady. $7 million. He finally got his money because they've been giving him a, the, the Walmart rollback discount price. Finally, <laughs> they give him the money because he's a very vital, important piece. Mm -hmm. He added catching to his, rest, to his repertoire last year. And I think he deserves to get that money. But not everybody ran it back. I think it'll be Alex interesting Cassidy. to see the actual money, though, because when yeah, you think about like, oh, listen, listen, <laughs> he's visiting New England, okay? Yeah. New England had more backs than they knew what to do with. <laughs> right. I mean, let's let's be real on it. So, so like, what was the deal going to be in New England? Like, if yeah. you were competing with New England to sign him, yeah, I, you know, I. It, we'll I'll see. Be, listen, I, I actually think he helps him a bunch. They do. I also think this is part of the, you know, the kind of the Brady effect. You know, Jason Light has talked about you know the impact that it has in terms of other free agent signings. I don't think there's any doubt, especially if you've been there with Brady in the past that it would make you want to come back. Yeah, and look, I mean, a, a year ago we were talking about, oh, isn't this incredible? The Super Bowl champion Bucks brought back literally every starter on yeah. both sides of the ball. That's not going to be the case uh, this year, but, you know, we've been talking a lot about the talent drain from the NFC to the AFC. I mean, d d do you think, uh, Bart, do you think the Buccaneers are in better shape to win this year than they were last year? I think they're in better shape than the Green Bay Packers because they were able to retain. Now, listen, they lost Alec Kappa, Alex Kappa. They lost a player to retirement, uh, but they were also, they lost O.J. Howard. But I think, listen, outside of Green Bay, the Rams, and, and Tampa, who's the elite teams in the NFC? Like, yeah. so if you're an NFC team, you know, talk about screw those picks. I mean, I think you go all in because you have a legitimate chance because the path to the Super Bowl is a lot easier than in the AFC. Yeah. I, I don't think they're better off. I mean, you know, a year but ago. But the field isn't better. No, but listen, the, the, that's fair. But, the, you know, a year ago, everybody was back. Chris Godwin was healthy. Like, it was, you know, there was this energy around, um, you know, kind of, hey, running it back. Everybody's all in. All of that stuff. This, I think, is a little bit different. You mentioned, you know, offensive line is not going to be the same because of a variety of reasons. Now, I do think that the uh, defensive losses are very survivable. Yeah. The big thing for me ends up being Chris Godwin. I, I, I'm on record as saying, like, he's their most important yeah. offensive player outside of the quarterback. Yeah. And so that includes Rob Gronkowski, who, by the way, was there a year ago, not there currently right now. Yeah. Do you like Gage? That's gonna happen. I like Gage a Listen, lot. I, I, Chris Godwin, to me, I, I think is – he does so much yeah. for them. Yeah. He's great outside. He's great inside. They'll use him as an insert lead blocker. Like, they were an ISO behind him. Yeah. So, I, like, to me, I, I think that his health – ends up being a huge factor in this. They're in the mix, but I, yeah. I just think the momentum a year ago was different. And, and you look at the division, too, and you look at the other quarterbacks, it, it <laughs> kind of resembles when Brady was playing in the AFC East, right? Mm, I mean, hurts. you take a look, because who, who do they have? They have Marcus Mariota now playing with the Atlanta Falcons. You have Jameis Winston with the New Orleans Saints and the Panthers. Well, who, who knows? Well, why don't you at, tell at us point. about it? Huh? They bring back bad memories. <laughs> yeah, yeah. They bring back bad memories. The AFC stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm yeah so even though, even though we were successful when I was there, so you yeah, know, can't poke fun at me too much. Yeah. But I tell you what, I can't believe that you know uh, Shaq Mason. That I don't understand that one. If you're New England, why would you let a guy of that caliber, Shaq Mason, go down to Tampa Bay? I, di I didn't get that one. You know, you talked about you know having great offensive linemen at a premium. Well, I mean, he's hey, one hey, of the best in the Listen, part, part of it ends up being, like, where do guys want to go? I. Don't, we, we, I kind of touched on the Brady effect, okay? Like, let's be let's be honest too. Like, guys have enjoyed being in Tampa. They've enjoyed the the practice routine. Yeah. They've enjoyed the winning. They've Something enjoyed bad. playing with Tom. Like, there has been an element of, listen, things are equal or close to equal. I do think guys have chosen to be in that situation. Well, he, you know, Tom Brady allows them to be able to have a choice because he takes so little money, right? You talk about his cap hit. <laughs> 
you know, it goes all the way back to A. A. Ryan and holding out, the, you know, the franchise hostage. Now, listen, get your money, but you get what you get. <laughs> But it's interesting, Brett, that Brady effect, right, of guys wanting yeah. to be there in Tampa and the rest of the divisions figuring it out. I, I, a week ago, if Deshaun Watson had ended up in New Orleans or Atlanta, you might have seen some of these guys going there with him, right? Yeah, I, th that was actually probably one of the biggest stories. And, and as somebody that breaks news as much as you do, you, you know that because you were having those conversations as well. So many free agents were just watching and waiting as yeah. much as we talked about the domino effect for the clubs specifically of who's going to be their quarterback. It was the pieces, the offensive pieces around him, even on the defensive side, guys that were watching, seeing where is Watson going to land, and they were going to base their decision on that. So now you see, I, I, look, I, I still think most of the players that went back to Tampa Bay were going Tom, with Tom Brady no matter what, as soon right. as Tom announced that. So um, I don't think one somebody would have a regret of going, oh, I wish I didn't go to Tampa. I should have went to Cleveland. Um, I think the culture there, Bruce Arians, we obviously know his style of coaching and the way he mm -hmm. runs practice. It fits for guys and it makes them happy, especially for those older players, you know, who don't want to go at a 10 rate every single practice. They know that Bruce is going to take it easy on them. Yeah, Bucks GM Jason Light called Brady a cheat code, and I think he's talking about how much it helps him put a team together, have people want to come play with Tom. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.